Welcome to this video demonstrating how to perform a neurological motor examination of the lower limbs. To begin the examination, you must start with wiper. Wash your hands, introduce yourself to the patient, stating your name and role, ask permission and check if they are in any pain. Expose your patient appropriately and reposition them as appropriate. Begin your inspection by looking around the bed for any evidence of medication, splints and mobility aids. Assess whether your patient looks comfortable, then perform a closer inspection of their lower limbs. For this, six observations need to be made. You can use the acronym DWARFS. Are there any obvious deformities? Is there any evidence of muscle wasting or loss of muscle bulk? Check for asymmetry between legs. Are there any rashes visible? Are there any fasciculations or involuntary movements noted? Are there any scars indicative of previous surgery or trauma? It is best to assess gait first, as this allows for detection of gross abnormalities. To assess gait, ask the patient to walk a short distance, turn around, and then walk back to their starting position. Assess their gait for symmetry, stride length, arm swing, and turning ability. Then assess tandem gait. This is achieved by asking the patient to walk heel to toe as if they are walking on a tightrope. Complete this part of the examination by performing a Romberg's test. Test balance by asking them to put their feet together, stand still and look ahead, firstly with their eyes open and then with their eyes closed. OK, if you'd like to just pop on the bed for me. Can you manage all right? When performing the remainder of the examination, it is important to assess tone, power, coordination and reflexes. This can be remembered using the acronym TOP-CAR. We now go on to examine the patient's tone. Begin by asking the patient to completely relax. Lift the patient's knee off the couch and release it. The leg should return back to its starting position. Assess for any evidence of spasticity or a prolonged amount of time in returning to the starting position. Repeat on the other side. Next, place your hands on the patient's right thigh and roll gently from side to side. You should look at the patient's foot to see whether it moves appropriately with this motion. Always compare like with like and repeat on the left leg. Clonus is assessed at the ankles. This is a muscular spasm involving repeated, often rhythmic contractions. Gently rotate the ankle along its joint before abruptly forcing the joint into flexion. If clonus is present, the foot will continue to jerk backwards and forwards. Repeat on the left side. I'm now going to do the legs. So firstly, if you could lift this leg up, just, that's right. And I'm going to try and push it into the couch if you stop mm -hmm. me. That's brilliant. And I'm just going to test the other leg. Lift the leg up. Don't let me push it down. That's very good. Now, if you push my hand, I'm going to try and lift your leg. Mm -hmm. I want you to push my hand into the couch. That's good. And there. That's very good, sir. If you could bend your knee and pull your heel up to your bottom. Just do one leg at a time, if you don't mind. Pull your heel up into your bottom. I'm going to try and stop that. Mm -hmm. That's very good. And if you do the other leg, so if you... And I'm going to stop it. That's brilliant. And if you could cock your feet up and don't let me push them down. Don't let me push them down. Next, ask the patient to point their feet towards the floor, then ask them to resist you pushing each foot up in turn. Finally, ask the patient to point just their big toe to the top of the bed and resist you pushing it down. Then repeat on the other side. Now test the limbs for coordination. Ask the patient to place the heel of their right foot onto their left knee, then run their heel down their shin. Ask the patient to repeat this three times, then repeat the same process on the other side. Next is the examination of the reflexes. So if you can let your legs go floppy on my arm, brilliant. Okay, sir? That's very good. And then I'm going to do the ankle jerk. If you just, and relax, just relax your ankle. That's lovely. 
Very good. And I'm just going to do this one as well. In patients where reflexes appear to be absent, you should ask the patient to grit their teeth or clench their hands to see if this reinforcement results in a reflex jerk. Complete the examination by testing the plantar reflex, the Babinski response. This is elicited by applying a firm pressure with an orange stick, starting at the heel of the foot and run up the lateral border of the sole of the foot, curving under the toes. A normal response would be to have the toes to flex or go down. In upper motor neuron lesions, the big toe shows a dorsiflexion response. It goes up. This is known as a positive Babinski sign. Ensure that you examine both sides, comparing like with like. On completion of the examination, you should offer to help the patient dress and then wash your hands.